Hey there guys and welcome back to Hersey Games and welcome back to some marquee matchups. Now I did these last time and uh, the response was very very good. It's one of my most watched videos so I thought I'll do it again. I enjoyed doing it and obviously the rewards are always great which is pretty good to get. Um, and with the inform uh, guaranteed inform pack I thought I might as well make the most of it. You know it's a good chance I could get something good and there's again another solid team of the week this week so I decided I'd do it again. Now this one this one was a bit more expensive for me. I mean, it, the matchups themselves weren't that difficult. Now, championship ones, I was always going to be fine. I had to get rid of a couple of QPR players, which kind of sucked a little bit because obviously as a QPR fan, it would have been nice to keep them. Um, but it was the Barcelona and Real Madrid one that really, really was tricky. Um, it, I didn't have any of the players and hindsight is a wonderful thing. I will talk about that. Um, actually, I'll talk about that now because I did have another little section I've recorded but didn't work out, uh, which was packs, as you can see here, uh, but my audio got corrupted and I didn't actually get a chance to um, keep that, that sound and I was trying to snipe players and it wasn't working, um, so I put money on four packs um, and uh, I didn't get much great. I got one decent pack, which I uh, I will show you the actual clip of. I did I did salvage that and, and keep the clip of that, but the audio didn't work. Um, but otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to afford this. I sold a lot of players. This is the pack. Um, I did manage to get myself a Coutinho, which very, very, very crucially helped me get it because it gave me 20K. Um, but otherwise, it cost me about 25,000 coins and I only had to buy about five players. Um, so it's quite expensive. Barcelona players are very expensive right now. Um, and honestly, if I would give you advice, don't do it yet. Um, if you don't have the players, keep keep your money, buy them when they're cheaper. Um, and you should should then be able to afford this very, very comfortably. Um, but I do manage to afford it. Um, and after this, obviously, I'll show you the packs that I got. Um, I'm, I haven't seen it yet. This, this is before, this is post... Uh, post this is pre Pax Tom, so I don't actually know what I've got yet. Um, but it's a solid team of the week. I'm really hoping for a walkout this time. I didn't get a walkout last time. Um, I'd be happy with a walkout this time. I don't really mind who it is, um, but I very much would like a walkout. That's the least I could ask for. But as you can see here, buying Zayech is the last player I had to get, and that completed my marquee matchups and got me my team of the week pack. So let's jump in and look at those packs. Okay, guys, so this has been way more expensive than I anticipated. Uh, I had to buy more players than I would have liked, but we've got the packs. This is this is what it's all about. The Team of the Week player pack obviously being the most important. There's a big, massive Team of the Week out right now, but we'll start with the Silver Players pack. Get that out of the way. That's probably the least exciting. Um, we obviously don't get a flare because there are no gold players in that. Um, anything for any of the other SPCs. We do get Hogan. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look and see how much Hogan is. I have Hogan's inform at Brentford, so I don't need his regular Villa card. Uh, let me just foot bin that. 3K, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and list him for 2.8. Uh, and we will, I think, keep everything else. You know what, I've, I've already done it. So we will keep everything else. Uh, up next, we will do the... We'll do one of the Jumbo Premium Gold Packs. See if we can get anything interesting from these. A couple of small flares. We get... Uh, we got him earlier. Cipri Cyprien. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Probably wrong. Uh, but we get Cyprien. Uh, as for Cotto, that's a, that's a hell of a callback. And we get a Contract Pack, which is possibly the least exciting thing that could have happened. But that's fine. That's fine. We're, we're building up. We're building up to the, the bigger ones. Uh, let's just get the contracts out of the way, I guess. Uh, store those. There we go. That's another pack. You're welcome, everyone. Uh, let's do the Electrum pack. I, I don't have much luck with Electrum packs. And that luck does continue. That lack of luck, I should say. We get Blind. Not particularly exciting. Anything else from the Texiera might sell. Uh, Craig might sell purely because of the the current SBCs, as you all know, the marquee matchups. Hence, this entire video, obviously. But the next jumbo, we get one rare, and it is Lucas. 
Okay. Okay. I think it's safe to say we weren't expecting too much. Shackle might sell as well because he's English and he's a good rating from the Championship. That will help people with their own marquee matchups. But we are on to the big pack. I would love something massive from this. The De Bruyne looks amazing. Isco. Um, last last time we got Alonso, which I was pretty happy with, and I actually haven't used yet after that entire discussion about it. But let's see who we get. Is it going to be a walkout? It is. It is a walkout. Oh, this is this could be big. That flare is huge. Socrates. Is that Socrates? Oh man, that's so good. I'm very, very happy with Socrates. He's going for 120k. Not quite as much as I'd anticipated, but look at that card. That card is insane. 91 defense, 90 physical, 82 pace, obviously, which most people will be looking at. But that is a very, very nice card and a very, very nice port indeed. I'm very, very happy with that. If you guys have enjoyed this, found this helpful, then let me know. If I can give you one hint, do not do it yet. That, in my personal opinion, because I've rushed to do it because I want to get a video out and I want to show you guys as quickly as possible, because I've done that, it's probably cost me a lot more than it should have cost me. Um, but the rewards from it wasn't awful. Um, getting a Socrates was great. Yes, I had to go and do some other packs uh, and I got lucky getting a Coutinho, um, but the Barcelona players especially right now are very, very expensive. You could also spend a lot of money in the uh, other ones if you don't have the players. Luckily, even though I've got a bit of a limited squad right now, I did have majority of them, but I did definitely have to buy packs in order to uh, buy packs with points that is as well, otherwise that would be completely counterproductive uh, in order to achieve this at the moment just because I don't have many funds on my account. But regardless of that, I'm very happy with the walkout. That's the best I could have asked for. For now, guys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching that. There will be more career mode videos coming out soon, uh, potentially even today. Depends how the recording and the editing and uploading and everything goes. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I have been Tom. This has been Hursty Games, and I will see you guys very soon.